Welcome to our video tour for Cider Mill Close in Chepstow. This is a four bedroomed detached property with an integral garage. So you are tucked away in a quiet cul-de-sac um, and it is a lovely residential area around here as well. So we'll make our way into the property. So you enter in through the hallway, which has access to your down floor, uh, your ground floor rooms and the stairs leading up to the first floor. Um, you do have plenty of off-road parking to the front. And as mentioned, you do have the integral garage, which at the other end, I will take you out into the kitchen as well, as I'll show you a little later. So into the hallway. So it's a nice bright space with your stairs leading up to the first floor and then your doors into your down your ground floor rooms. So immediately on your right, you do have the convenience of a ground floor WC featuring the wash hand basin and the WC. As you come in on your left, it takes you into the lounge. Again, a lovely big space with a nice big bay window to the front as well, which as you can see, it do lay in plenty of natural light into the property. So it is neutrally decorated throughout, so it is easy enough for someone just to literally pick up their furniture and move straight into the property. You don't need to do anything in here at all. That door in by there, that will take you into the dining area, into the kitchen as well, but we'll just go this way through into the hall. So straight into the kitchen. As you can see, kitchen itself, absolutely beautiful. It's a newly fitted kitchen, it hasn't been in for long at all, but it is finished with an exceptional quality. So you do have your lovely worktops in here, plenty of worktop space as well. Your inset sink and the drainer in the worktop, beautiful. So it is finished with a gloss finish, white gloss finish. Your appliances are integrated into here as well. You would also have room for any freestanding appliances if you needed any. Harbour 5 burner gas hob with your extractor fan over. Window to the side which goes out into, looks out into the rear garden. You do have a door there which will take you out into the side of the rear garden as well. And then that door there will take you into your garage. So off the kitchen it takes you into your dining area. With the dining area it is a decent size you do have space to fit a large family sized dining table and chairs off the dining room you do have the bonus of an additional sitting room obviously this is the extension which is a big size uh, it make a perfect family sitting area a family room a playroom whatever you wanted it for really it's really handy to have just off the kitchen as a lot of people these days now like to, like to live with the open plan feel So from this family room, you have access then out into the rear garden. The rear garden is absolutely beautifully landscaped. You're not overlooked, but you do have a decent sized garden as well. So anyone who's green fingered would absolutely love this space. So you do have a really good sized patio area there, which is perfect for the family to enjoy and fantastic for your summer barbecues and social events, entertaining family and friends. As you can see, for a newer build property, the garden is a really good size as well. Unlike your modern newer builds now, which you don't potentially get a lot of outdoor space anymore. So we go back into the property now and we'll make our way up to the first floor. Up to the first floor, you have access to the four bedrooms and to your first floor family bathroom. The master bedroom do have the ensuite shower room in there as well. So. so we'll start in the master bedroom, make our way around all the bedrooms first and then go into the main family bathroom. So the master bedroom is at the front of the property. It's a comfortable double sized room, really spacious, large window to the front overlooking the front of the property and you do have all fitted wardrobes in behind the door as well. So we go into the ensuite shower room, beautifully modernised, a nice white suite in here as well so you've got your WC, your wash hand basin, 
and a large double walk-in shower. So we'll go into the second double bedroom now, which again, a spacious double room as you can see. You do have the addition of having fitted wardrobes as well behind the door. But you could easily fit a double bed, a king size bed in here. And you have a large window overlooking the rear garden. So at the end of the hallway you have your two single bedrooms. The first one is quite a large single. Um, as you can see you can fit a single bed in here and still have plenty of room to move around as well. Plenty of room for storage. I'd even say you could probably even squeeze a double bed in here as well. Or definitely a three quarter size bed. But it's a lovely good sized room. And then you've got your smaller bedroom which currently is being used as an office. Um, again this would be a single bedroom. And by the time you put your single bed in on that wall there you do have a bit of space behind the door then for putting a wardrobe chest of drawers. Lastly on this floor you have your family bathroom which you've got your WC, your wash hand basin, your bath and then you also have the addition of having a shower over the bath as well. Up on the first floor you do have a little storage cupboard which is just in by there. Plenty of space for storing your towels bedding. So that concludes our tour for this property. As I mentioned it's on Cedar Mill Close. If you would like to view the property then please just give our team a call. Any questions they'll answer them for you as well. Thank you.